father is thanking the community for their support as his two children remain hospitalized after a devastating fire this week in Clifton. Good evening, I'm Michelle Marsh. And I'm Victoria Sanchez. Tonight, two young boys are fighting for their lives two days after flames tore through their home. There's an outpouring of support from the community as that family goes through the unimaginable. 70s reporter Rebecca Turco is in Gainesville at the offices of Love Church. Rebecca, that church is collecting donations for the family. Everything here is sectioned off. They've got food items. They've got personal items here. They've got clothes for the kids and for the Bryce family. And I'm told the church has collected more than $5,000 so far. It's been an unimaginable two days for Jamie Bryce as he prays for a miracle for his youngest sons, Zachariah and William. If you knew these boys and how much they love people and how much we love them, you would be doing everything you can um, for them. Jamie says doctors told him yesterday his sons are showing signs and symptoms of brain death after breathing in so much smoke when their house caught fire Wednesday morning. His eight year old called 911. If Logan had to call 911, it's, nobody would have gotten out of that house. Jamie says his three youngest sons and his parents were home when that fire started. Firefighters made rescues as they put out the flames, including Jamie's two youngest who were trapped inside. There's a reason it took about 45 minutes for them to come back uh, from CPR. Uh, really nobody should have come back from that, but if anybody can come back, um, I know they can. Jamie says his faith is getting him through this. So people have been donating household items, clothing. Supports coming from Jamie's church too. Love Church's lead pastor, Josh Baird, says people here are doing what they can. Praying for a miracle for these boys, but it's not just prayer, it's tangibly helping, and that's what our church is about. Jamie's so grateful for the community's support. He's asking for prayers above all else as doctors monitor his son's vital signs before doing more testing. We're counting it as a win for now that we've, at the moment, we have another day. The church is holding a vigil at its offices here tomorrow morning at 9, and they'll be holding another vigil here Monday night. The pastor tells us everyone is welcome to come. Reporting live in Gainesville, Rebecca Turco, 7 News. Rebecca, thank you.